other groups? Um, it's kind of been like an, an effort thing for me for most of my life. Like, I'm lucky enough to come from a pretty good family, I think. And uh, I, I mean, it hasn't always been effort. Like from a young age, I think that my parents tried hard to get me to interact with a lot of different people and people who aren't like me. Um, I went to a grade school that was predominantly black and then in middle school I changed to a more local school that was almost all white. Um, and so like when I was younger I kind of had to, I, I learned how to feel, feel empathy toward uh, people who aren't like me and understand that not everyone experiences life the way that I do. And so then when I, like it became an effort thing when I moved into uh, a type, an environment that was more reflective of me and my family. And so it's like trying to interact with people who are uh, disabled or minorities or uh, more well off than me, I guess, and just trying to you know, like, see how other people are experiencing their lives and how that might affect the way that they feel and trying to feel like you can, like, like you can understand how they process things, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm going to, we're going to move on to a different conversation, right? We, we all know that there's certain stuff that we have walls up. I remember being so fortunate to grow up in New Hampshire, and probably the environment around me influenced how I viewed maybe other black people in poverty. And the experiences that I had that I was traveling to those different neighborhoods every summer really, really confronted a lot of my life. Even in the way people dressed, the way people spoke, what they did for fun. I remember one time I was in Philly, and what they do there, you send a city order, and someone comes out from the city and opens the fire act, and water just goes everywhere. Kids play in the water. It's the best thing ever in the entire world. Uh, but that was so foreign to me. I was like, what the heck is going on? Why is the water going all over the place? And speaking to the youth that, were, that lived there, like, it meant so much to them. It was fun. It was refreshing. It's how they connected. Another experience, dance played a huge part of my influence growing up. I would go to Philly or go to Chicago I'll come on and do my own thing and they're like, get you, man. We don't dance that way here. You only got credit if you danced the style that they danced. Because to them, you can do the best Michael Jackson move. They don't care about Michael Jackson. They care about the footwork that they're doing in their community. So every summer when I went back home, I'll try to learn the dance. And then when I go back, oh, you're working on an awesome day. But what I realized was, it's not just about like what's accepted, what's accepted in my community. It's also about how do I take myself out on what I want in order for me to, to be open, in order to learn from others, in order to consider and to not judge them. 